In the world of modern air combat, the aircraft you see gliding across the horizon tells only half the story. The true game changer lies beneath the fuselage, deep within the engineering marvels that transform metal into controlled chaos, the engines. And when it comes to the Saab JAS-39 Gripen E, one engine has taken this principle to an entirely new level, the Rolls-Royce EJ-230. What was once considered just another European propulsion system has now become the beating heart of a fighter capable of rewriting the rules of air superiority. In the skies, the Gripen E was already respected for its agility, low logistical footprint, and modular design. But with the EJ-230, it has evolved into a multi-role powerhouse capable of challenging assumptions, disrupting doctrines, and delivering sovereignty in ways few could have imagined. This is not a story of speculation. It is a story of precision engineering, national strategy, and the relentless pursuit of performance that has transformed a small Swedish fighter into a global contender. The Gripen E was born from necessity. Sweden, surrounded by larger neighbors and historical threats, designed an aircraft that was not just capable, but resilient, adaptable, and survivable under conditions that would ground or cripple most fighters. Its philosophy was simple yet profound. Performance alone is meaningless if it cannot be sustained in the environment where it will operate. Short takeoff and landing capabilities, modular systems that can be repaired in the field, and low operational costs made the Gripen EA masterclass in modern multi-role fighter design. Yet even the most brilliantly designed airframe is only as effective as the engine that powers it. Without the EJ-230, the Gripen E was already competent. But with it, the aircraft has become something entirely different, something formidable. The Rolls-Royce EJ-230 is a marvel of aerospace engineering, a product of decades of iterative innovation and cutting-edge design philosophy. In terms of raw performance, the engine delivers a thrust-to-weight ratio that rivals some of the most expensive fifth-generation fighters pushing the Gripen E into an envelope few expected it to reach. Pilots report instantaneous throttle response, exceptional acceleration, and unmatched stability during high-G maneuvers, climbing to 50,000 feet in a matter of minutes, transitioning between supersonic speeds without afterburner fatigue, and maintaining precise control even in extreme maneuvers are all made possible by this engineering triumph. For a lightweight fighter designed for operational flexibility rather than brute force, these capabilities are nothing short of revolutionary. But the EJ-230's brilliance is not just in thrust, it lies in its intelligent efficiency. Unlike engines that demand vast logistical support, endless maintenance hours, or highly specialized technicians, the EJ-230 is modular, reparable, and optimized for rapid service cycles. Components can be swapped in the field without grounding the aircraft for days or weeks, a feature critical for nations operating in harsh, remote, or dispersed theaters. In practice, this means that a Gripen squadron can maintain a higher sortie rate than heavier, more cumbersome fighters while keeping operational costs manageable. In modern air combat, where readiness and availability can determine the outcome of regional conflicts, this combination of raw performance and rapid turnaround is a strategic game changer. The engine also excels in extreme environmental conditions, a critical factor for air forces operating in the Arctic, high altitude ranges, or desert environments. Fighters often struggle in sub-zero temperatures because of starting difficulties, fuel thickening, and mechanical stress. The EJ-230, however, was designed with resilience in mind. Its internal components withstand temperature fluctuations far beyond standard specifications, ensuring rapid startups, consistent thrust output, and minimal where even in extreme cold. For Canada, Brazil, and other nations with demanding operational theaters, this is a crucial advantage. The Gripen E can maintain air patrols over vast distances, intercept high-altitude intruders, and execute missions without the logistical headaches that would cripple other fleets. Fuel efficiency is another pillar of the EJ-230's superiority. Modern combat is as much about sustainability as it is about speed and agility. The engine allows the Gripen E to achieve extended range, high endurance, and reduced operational costs, while retaining maximum combat performance. 
A fighter that burns fuel recklessly may dominate in a short engagement, but will inevitably be limited by logistics. The EJ-230 strikes a balance that is exceptionally rare, exceptional thrust, without sacrificing endurance. This means longer missions, more time on station, and fewer sorties required to maintain air superiority. In a theater like the Arctic or vast maritime regions, where supply chains are stretched thin and refueling opportunities are limited, this efficiency is as decisive as raw speed. The EJ-230 also integrates seamlessly with the Gripen E's sophisticated electronic systems. Modern air warfare depends heavily on radar, sensors, electronic warfare suites, and network mission data. Engines are no longer isolated mechanical devices. They form the backbone of the aircraft's entire operational ecosystem. The EJ-230 delivers reliable, consistent power to all avionics, enabling high-performance operation even under electronically contested conditions. Pilots can engage targets, execute complex maneuvers, and manage sensors with confidence, knowing that the engine will not compromise critical system performance. Another transformational feature is the engine's modular growth potential. Future upgrades, whether in avionics, energy management, hybrid electric systems, or even new weapons integrations, can be integrated without fundamental alterations to the airframe or propulsion system. This adaptability ensures that the Gripen E remains relevant for decades, capable of evolving alongside technological advances rather than being constrained by its original design. It is a fighter designed not only for the threats of today, but also for the unknown challenges of tomorrow. Industrial implications of the EJ-230 cannot be understated. Rolls-Royce has designed the engine in a way that allows countries to establish local production, maintenance, and engineering capabilities. This translates into knowledge transfer, domestic job creation, and strategic autonomy in aerospace operations. Nations adopting the Gripen E with EJ-230 engines can maintain operational independence, train their own engineers, and develop the infrastructure necessary to evolve their air force without relying entirely on foreign contractors. This approach fundamentally alters the geopolitical dynamics of fighter jet deployment, allowing smaller or mid-sized nations to achieve capabilities previously reserved for the largest powers. Operational testing has consistently demonstrated the Gripen E's versatility when powered by the EJ-230. The combination of agility, high-speed response, short takeoff and landing capabilities, and robust high-altitude performance allows it to operate from dispersed or improvised airstrips, an invaluable trait in contested or fragile environments. Even when facing sophisticated adversaries, the Gripen E demonstrates survivability through dispersion, operational resilience, and adaptability. When combined with advanced weapons, sensors, and electronic warfare systems, the aircraft becomes a force multiplier, compact, efficient, and extraordinarily lethal. Geopolitically, the EJ-230 shifts strategic calculations. Countries adopting this engine gain more than raw performance. They gain independence. They are no longer bound by foreign systems, supply chain bottlenecks, or politically influenced upgrades. Operational sovereignty becomes a reality, not an aspiration. This advantage extends beyond military considerations, affecting alliances, negotiation leverage, and long-term strategic planning. Nations can adapt the Gripen E to their unique operational requirements without compromise, confident that the engine will support their ambitions. The EJ-230 has also redefined perceptions of what constitutes a lightweight fighter. The Gripen E, traditionally valued for its agility and low cost, is now capable of performance typically associated with much heavier and more expensive platforms. In comparisons with fifth-generation fighters, the EJ-230 equipped Gripen demonstrates competitive thrust, high maneuverability, and a response profile that rivals jets costing multiples of its price. Yet it maintains low operational costs, rapid maintenance cycles, and adaptability, a combination that is practically unmatched in the modern fighter market. Even the psychological impact of this engine cannot be ignored. For decades, certain nations believed that air power supremacy depended on purchasing the largest, most complex, and most expensive aircraft. The EJ-230 challenges that assumption. 
it proves that intelligent design, efficiency, and modular engineering can produce a fighter capable of competing with, and in many ways surpassing, platforms that rely on size, complexity, and massive support networks. It shifts the narrative from bigger is better to smarter is superior, fundamentally altering defense procurement philosophy worldwide. For pilots, the experience is transformative. The EJ-230 delivers intuitive responsiveness, smooth throttle management, and precise feedback during maneuvers, making the Gripen E feel like an extension of the pilot's own instincts. Acceleration is instantaneous, turns are fluid, and the aircraft's stability allows for complex operations without pilot fatigue. In combat simulations, the Gripen E consistently outperforms heavier fighters in agility contests, demonstrating that superior engineering can compensate for size, cost, and mass. Strategically, the EJ-230 equipped Gripen E offers nations the ability to maintain persistent air presence, respond rapidly to emerging threats, and operate in theaters previously considered logistically challenging. From the Arctic to the high seas, from urbanized regions to remote deserts, the aircraft delivers predictable performance with minimal infrastructure support. It allows countries to project power responsibly, maintain sovereignty, and retain operational flexibility even in politically or environmentally constrained environments. Ultimately, the Rolls-Royce EJ-230 doesn't just make the Gripen EA fighter. It makes it a powerhouse in every sense of the word. It delivers thrust, endurance, and reliability while enabling operational independence, modular adaptability, and strategic resilience. It transforms the aircraft from a regional multi-role fighter into a platform capable of influencing global air power dynamics. It is, in every sense, the engine that allows the Gripen E to punch above its weight and redefine the concept of modern, sovereign air power. In conclusion, the EJ-230 is more than an engine. It is a catalyst, a strategic enabler, and a symbol of what can be achieved when engineering brilliance aligns with operational necessity. The Gripen E, already admired for its versatility, is elevated to a new level, one where efficiency, independence, and raw performance converge. Nations adopting this combination gain not only advanced technology, but also strategic freedom, operational autonomy, and the confidence to face emerging threats head-on. In an era where air superiority is defined by adaptability and sustainability as much as raw speed, the EJ-230 equipped Gripen E is not just competitive, it is revolutionary. If you found this detailed breakdown of the Rolls-Royce EJ-230 and the Gripen E insightful, make sure to like this video, share it with fellow defense enthusiasts, and subscribe to Military Power Play for more cinematic explorations of cutting-edge military technology, global air power, and the strategic shifts that are quietly reshaping the world of defense today.